Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to map a drive to a, another computer over the network so you could access the resources easily that way. So this will only work if you have another computer on your network that is accessible to you. It's not blocked by a firewall or login rules or any other permission problems like that. So in this case I have a, a VM running Windows 7 here in my Oracle VirtualBox and it's on the same network as my desktop computer running Windows 10 here and so I'm going to map a drive to this shared folder that I created on the Windows 7 computer so technically it's over the network even though it's a VM. So what I need to do is just open up Windows Explorer or File Explorer and and we know the name of the computer is Win7 and if you don't know how to, to get that you could go over here right click or actually click start right click on computer properties and computer name win7 and so once we're in our file explorer here we just go backslash backslash win7 name of it and if we hit enter that'll show us everything that's shared on this computer so the users folder shared by default but this shared folder here is the same folder as here so I actually shared this manually on this computer and if I open it there you'll notice that it's the same files that are over here Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to right click it, and we're going to pick Map Network Drive, and we're going to pick a folder, uh, we'll call it W for the Win7, and this box here, if this can be a one time thing, you don't want to map it after this, you could uncheck this, and if you want to have it reconnect every time you, you sign in, you could check this box. And if you want to connect to this folder, let's say with administrator credentials, because you're not allowed to, you can check this box. So we're going to click on finish, and then it automatically opens it up. And you can see now, if I go to this PC, I have all my, my Windows D, E, CD-ROM, blah, blah, blah. And now I have the shared folder on Win7, the W drive, and then I just simply click it there. And it's called the W drive on my computer. And that's an easy way to access that shared folder instead of having to you know go back here backslash backslash win 7 and try and remember what it was from last time so it's just really simple to do that way all right thanks for watching